All right, y'all, we're gonna try this nonsensical five color Yorian deck, y'all. I think it is, I think it's probably pretty good. But it's, it's all the things I liked from the Jeskai side and removing some of the vulnerable cards. Um, so we're base Sultai and then we're splashing red white for a showdown. <laughs> oh baby, fan me down. This hand looks hot medium, I'm in. I'm in. All right, all right. Um, uh, I have an iPhone. We're the one that tried to call. When you say it's nothing to me. Baby, you're the only light that I ever saw. Sweet. Let's do some scrying. Try not to hit me with me so you can be free me. Yeah, exclamation point deck, and it's in my cardboard live. You should be able to grab it from there. Or it's on my Twitter, Milla. Okay. All right. Let's get some visionaries. I think we have found uh, greatness. I agree. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Do, 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 do. So six, so they can't Genesis Ultimatum next turn. Oh, no white mana, classic, classic. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go with a visionary. And if I hit a four drop, okay, never mind. Instead, I'm still going to play this and foretell this, and then I can time walk next turn. Nice, died Dr. Slurm. Are you, are you loving it or hating it? Terrifying. Could just Garrick this. We got some hella good options. Kind of want to just Garrick. If they Genesis ultimate, I'm sure it's going to be good, but I kind of want to save this. We'll try it. Binding of the old dogs. Binding of the Ross Merriams. Genesis Ultimatum. Jesus, tap dancing Christ. The fuck? All right. That was uncool. But we are gonna get a cool turn here. So let's go like this. Oh no, I don't have double blue. Dang it. Ah, oh, I, I totally missed that part. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. It's not my best play. And this search does absolutely nothing. Dang it, I was gonna try to Epiphany this turn and then next turn Binding plus Yorian. Dang it. Then we would've got two more Wolves. Why do you keep bouncing that in search of greatness? It's not that great. It 
It's a five color deck. Of course the mana is going to be sus. There's no way it's going to be like, ooh, five color deck? That mana base looks perfect. Okay, this is actually fine. That turn could have been a lot worse. Yeah, it could be a world tree in there. I agree. Okay, next turn. I, this actually worked out better somehow because next turn we're going to pop off. Or should I say... Next turns. Oh, yeah. Okay, card's heinous. Then I do lose out on Binding of the Old Gods. Is there any way I can still just have another Your? I probably have to. Three, four, five, four. Okay. So I can't. All right. All right. This actually seems better. I can Showdown plus Yorian to get this shenanigans going. Okay. I have to go red, white. Okay. Now we're set up for Epiphany to just kind of win the game, right? If we live next turn, of course, and shit, but... All right. Yeah, and I, I had this as a non-Yorian deck right away. And then I'm like, I'm just going to deck. I'm going to deck if I just have 60 cards. So I had to up it to 80 for safety. Draw all the cards you want. You're not going to outvalue me. safety yeah I think I will play this on versus uh, next week do they have Embercleave Seven, fourteen, twelve, plus six, that's eighteen. So to not die to Embercleave, I have to go like this. All right. I didn't want to block with that extra one, but unrelated to verses, what would you say is this uh, deck's greatest weakness? Itself, probably. <laughs> Yeah, I might just want to stomp Yorian. That's fine, too, I think. Oh, you can't? Yeah, you can't have Embercleave with Obosh. That's right. Smart. Agadeems is actually pretty good in this deck, too, y'all. All right. Let's absolutely pop off. This turn is going to be fucked. This turn is going to be a turn of Magic the Gathering. That's one thing I can guarantee you.
Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Eleven possibilities. So Orin costs six. So we got five available. So I could just like Kaya. Or ooh, or even better, I can Cobra and Azika's chariot. That's better. Okay. Blue. Me and Ross have been very, very happy with uh, Aziki's Chariot. Ooh, I could Binding of the Old Gods instead since I do, since it's under this. Maybe that's better. Honestly, all I want to do is just find another Epiphany. So if I'm just trying to find another Epiphany, I should like Omen, right? Okay. Yeah, thanks, Ross. It was easier to follow with your heinous deck. I agree. You just know, like, you either have an 01 or you don't have an 01. Oh, okay, that's game. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I can go... Oops. This... Ulrin's Epiphany. Oh my god, if they counter this, I'm going to feel so dumb. Okay. <laughs> Reasonable. Respectable. Okay, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Come on, really? Just when we were starting to have fun. Yeah, but have to gone if it got countered, I wanted to hold it back, you know? So yeah, this is the nonsense we're up to, y'all. I actually do think it's good. I think In Search of Greatness is bad. And I think that's a card that we're going to eventually want to just not play. But everything else I think is pretty fucking gasoline. Sorry, I get excited with new cards. I'm swearing a lot tonight. It's just too fun. Yeah, Ross, you like this too? We got a little Valky Tybalt action in here too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Curious Bob. Ross Merriam's here. We know this. I have to, I have to censor myself for his young ears. And then right on cue, Ross drops an F bomb. All right, my man, my man. Oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to cut. Ross swearing never. The funniest thing is when Ross swears on versus live. That's the funny stuff. <laughs> Regardless of contact. All right. Whatever. To be fair, I mean, that search of greatness was actually great last game. It ate up two petty thefts. Because for whatever reason, they felt the need to just keep petty thefting that. All right, no ramp, which is kind of awkward, but whatever. Mm. That's true, Ross. You're a pioneer. Tapped. Yeah, I did see Canister was up to no good in modern again. Shocking. Shocking. Okay. Uh, I already have black, so I guess we can go green with this. The Sneaky Cobra. Okay. 
Okay, not what I wanted to see, but if I play Goose plus something, I can Garrick next turn. But of course they can cast that stupid card against me now. A stupid henge that is not that great. All right, I'm gonna add a green, but I'm gonna tap a blue. No, full control. Just in case I get a, another goose. I don't even know if I'd want it, but. All right, don't do anything too bad, please. That's what I said to not get. Don't need to glitter, you've already gold. Guess I have to kaya it. Kaya's been pretty good in this uh, list, I'm not gonna lie. My deck does deal with the Great Henge pretty well though, I will say that. Is it worth, will I ever block with Cobra? I don't think I'll actually block with any of them. Like I might not even block with this Goose. But I might. Yeah, all right. Go Kaya's better than a goose. It's not good. Hmm. This one's not going as well. So I can just play a Tangled Florhedron and just try to like double block so I can exile something, I guess. And then just try to Ulrens. Or maybe just Yorian. All right, we're probably in trouble this one. I think this is a stretch to keep this alive, so I should probably just let it go. All right. I mean, all run. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I 
Trickery, it seems like a card that should get banned because it doesn't really add anything fun, you know? All right, Garrick versus Vivian, I guess. Do I want to attack with anything? Put it down to three? I don't think so. I think I just want to play defense. I'm scared. I'm scared. Um, play this first. Keep that. I think I just want to take seven. Or I could block with this, get a token. That's probably better. Seven is a lot. Oh yeah, I just get Cobra back. I forgot about that. Yeah, Kai is actually insane. Shit, wouldn't you do that first? Ooh, okay, that's not very good. A lot of spells though, which is scary, of course. So I could go Cobra, Bind the Old Gods. I think I just gotta bind this. Then just put Yorin into my hand. I guess that's better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, they just found a lot of ultimatums. I agree. That's probably the case. Um, could destroy a creature yet. Nah, I think I just want to spam the battlefield. Then we can ultimate next turn and then blink it. This deck is sweet. Sure. Sure. Clothes is actually pretty strong, but. I could just let it take five because I'm gonna Yorian it next turn anyways. That's probably better. Save a token. This deck is sweet, y'all. Okay. One, two, three, four. Ah, one short of Yorian as well. So I guess Cobra Yorian. Could do Elspeth's Nightmare Yorian, but that's not very good. I do love greedy decks. Oh no. Oh no. No. I didn't even have to play it first. I didn't even have to play it first. I'm an idiot. Cause I wasn't gonna blink Cobra anyways. Jesus, Jesus. 
I just I, I just should have played on second main phase, you know? Vivian would have been dead. This would be at a higher loyalty and we would just would have drawn two cards. That was a pun. <laughs> Thanks, Ross. Thanks. Thank you, buddy. Well, this card has felt really bad. It's like good against Innkeeper, but that's it. But it's so good if they play Innkeeper, right? Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Rude. Ooh, yeah, I think we want to set a stop. All right. God, that was a tilt sandwich. So if I can get all runs epiphany. We probably need it, huh? Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. All right, we punted. We punted badly. I just wanted to play another uh, game anyways. It's all good. I don't know how much interaction I truly want to have, but... Let's take out these... All right, let's try this. We're bringing the greatness back in on the play. That is a card that does seem extremely better on the play. And basically all of our lands produce green. So, you know, there we got that going for us. Okay. That's pretty sweet, SBS. I mean, this deck technically does go up that high, so we could do it. All right. Um, I need the black, so let's go like this. We'll Omen. I mean, Jeskai is the deck I know is good. Five color is a meme that I have that's untested that could be really good, and I think it's good, but it's definitely rough around the edges so far. So the Jeskai deck, I think, is much better. Or, you know, has the hopes to be better. Don't want this, but I'm not going to turn down a Yori in here. Or ever. Play that Lovestruck Beast. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad will happen if they just go for that Lovestruck Beast here, right? It seems like a strong play. Oh, that might be even better if they don't have a land. All right. Let's get that shit out of here. Yorian next. No, play that Love Shrug Beast. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, Yorian's in my companion zone, so I don't even have it in my hand. God, if they have Dispute and I don't draw an untapped land, I'm going to be so pissed. Play something. There we go. There we go, buddy. All right. We need red mana. It's just got to be Yorian, but a land would have been nice. I got to hit Lovestruck as well. I just don't care if they draw a couple cards here and there. Let's 
Stack that wrong. This next turn's gonna be insane, too. Right after this game, I'll have to let my doggy boy out. We got all our colors, so we might as well just get our soul tie. Okay. Keep the old flame, 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 flame. No, does this work off greatness? Tybalt works off greatness? Are you kidding me? I mean, it's never came up, but that's insane if it does. Oh, well, that's busted then. We've done it? I guess. I guess that makes sense. Oh, shit. We're putting more Garricks in then. We only got one Garrick. All right, we're putting two Garricks in. Oh, man. My life is complete then. You can have that. Think we're gonna win this game y'all oh it's all run time it's time for an epiphany i keep stacking this wrong but whatever oh whatever i'll keep that too Oh, Vorticlex too. Yeah, that's an option. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll have two mana free. So I can go with Valky. Or just Goose. Yeah, two mind every turn tends to be pretty good. Okay. Now we got to actually cast. Oh, we'll start with this. So we might hit another Auron. Auron, Auron, Auron. Z, 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 Z. All right, this white. Do I not have two blue available? Okay, there we go. Three, four, five. You're in. This is nonsense. Double dispute back up. You think that's good, y'all? Because I want to hold up Counterspell. I don't want to let them to Genesis ultimatum me. Because all we're going to do is just find an all runs epiphany now. And the game is just actually just over. God, this is tough. It's tough to see how many cards I have. I'm playing this tomorrow in, in that uh, standard event, I think. This is just far too much gas. Whoopsies! I have a dispute. That's too bad.
Easier to abuse scolds because it's a come into play thing. And I mean, look at what we're doing, you know? <laughs> this should answer your question. Okay, I think we can just kill them. Yeah, we can just kill them by playing spells, so. One for you. One for you. Oh, one for you. <laughs> That's a very good question. Okay, okay, we can keep this. I think this is what we're going to play in the tournament tomorrow, y'all. This or the Jess guy? What do y'all think? Do you think I should play the... It's like, a, I don't know, I got invited to it. It's a cash tournament where you pay like 15 bucks first play is like 400 bucks or something it's nothing crazy you know um but should i uh should i play the the good the deck i know is good jess guy or should i play this and kind of gamble it's probably best to start with tangled florhedron here Yeah, it should be up on Cardboard Live. Yeah, yeah. I think they both will line up decent if this deck is good. Oh, are we playing against Ross's alternate count? Yellow Hat coming in with a gigantic raid. Holy shit. What's up, buddy? How was your stream? How was your stream? You playing some Yorian? You came in just in time for the absolute most nonsensical deck you could ever imagine. Awful. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. <laughs> hey, what's up, Kill Switcher? All right, everyone. So, everyone joining from Hat Stream, we're just playing some Yorian nonsense today, soaking in Keldheim, and just just having fun. I've been loving it so far. All right. So let's add blue here. Let's play Omen. You haven't, Yellow Hat. You haven't. I didn't know you were a listener. Happy to have you. Okay, these are magic cards. I mean, I probably just want both, and the order doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay. Right now we're trying Vorinclex over Garrick, but we're trying to keep in mind if Garrick would be better here. And so far, Garrick looks like it would be insane next turn. I mean, I'm pretty sure anything would be pretty good next turn against uh, this start, but Garrick would be bananas. Okay, so Kaya's pretty good too. Whatever, but you do an excellent job at picking your special guest every week. Well, luckily we have a special guest screener, Yellow Hat. We don't actually do that. We don't really do any of the work around here. And that's why we get BBD every single week, so. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Garrett would be so much better in this specific spot. But to be fair, we could Vorinclex and then ultimate Kaya next turn if they don't kill it. Which does seem pretty good. All right. It's the Clexington. What were you playing, Nasif? Hey, hey. How are you? Fine. Good. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Vorinclex with Allrun's Epiphany, though, is one hell of a clock. Yeah, this is definitely a Ross Merriam deck right here. Looks like Ross fixed his computer. Oh, put two 1-1 one -one counters on? I think not. Nice. Hat, you got to check it out. I, I actually have a uh, a deck that I think you'll like, if anything. 
Check that out. Go to the Jess guy taking turns from two hours ago. That's the deck that I do think is very good. Like, if I had to play a tournament, that's what I would play. Um, but I do think Abzan Yorin is, is quite strong as well. But this is just more nonsensical. Okay. <laughs> All right, does Vorinclex just get in here and trade with three creatures? I think it's, I think I'm fine with that. Maybe this is wrong, I guess. I could have ultimated. Yeah, all right, all right. I kind of just didn't think they would block. And then I wanted to Epiphany and then Kaya's next turn, but whatever. We're still going to be in a fine position here. Okay. So with that being the case, I actually don't want to time walk this turn. Infinite turns? You don't have infinite turns. All right, let's start like this. Am I missing something on this card? These cards have too much text. I can't even read them on here. Beginning your up to you, you may cast a legendary spell from your hand, from your graveyard, or from monk cards. You own an exile? Are you kidding me? Well, I, oh, okay. All right. Okay, that's insane. Oh wait, yeah, only legendary spells. Oh yeah, you're all wrong. This is not a legendary spell. Yeah, 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 that doesn't work. That doesn't work, you silly gooses. All right. All right, in that case, we'll just cast Elspeth Nightmare. <laughs> All right, that was my bad. That was the first time Twitch chat got something wrong though, so we're good. <laughs> okay. Lots of creatures, sure, sure, sure. So we can Yorian and keep the Scald going. That's pretty good. All right. I suppose we can just all runs Epiphany first, right? No, 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 we'll lose that. Okay. <laughs> all right all right not bad i think the pathways are amazing it makes this mana base possible i just played every green pathway because we have to have green untap green mana I think so, Hat. I, everybody's been playing them in the aggro shells, and it, I started it just playing it in mid-range to control shells, and most of the time it's... Um, so the Jeskai shell, it's a five drop, essentially, right? Unless you really struggle um, and need an answer, like you need an ECD on five for something. Um, but this deck, when you're ramping, you just pretty much cast it whenever, and it doesn't matter. Okay. So I have the Epiphany... I think this seems like an epiphany turn since we don't have Yorian. So let's start with Cobra, just try to do as many things as we can. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Actually, we can go Cobra here. Then that adds three. No, that adds four. Five, six, seven. Okay, perfect. All right, so we'll get in here. Yeah, this game's over. GG. All right. 
Escape the Wilds and Cobra were good, so why can't these be good, right? But now we get a time walk. I guess I missed out on counter. Are you going to ask me if I think Yorian needs a ban? Of course I don't want Yorian to get banned. That's just madness. Let's cast this for funsies. Boxy coming in as well. What is up? God, we're just going to have one heck of a party here. Thank you so much, Boxy. Team Coxie here. Me and Boxy were on the one limited tournament I've ever played. And I held her back so bad. I did so much losing and Boxy just hard carried. <laughs> I hope you had a fun stream. How's the Kel Time Limited format? I'm yet to play I'm I'm yet to play it so far, but it does look sweet. Alright, Wicked Wolves seem pretty good. Heartless Axe are probably strong. Chariot actually probably is good. <laughs> good night, friend. Yep, I just fed him. He's all set. All right. On the draw, search for greatness. In search of greatness is probably bad. And it could just be bad all the time. Anybody have good experiences with that card? Is anyone like, okay, in search of greatness is a card we must be playing. Seems like everyone doesn't know how to evaluate that card. Hat, did you try it? I think I want to take out Kaya then, or Vorinclex. I'm going to take out that top end. I don't need Vorinclex. I haven't tried for Mono White. <laughs> Seem good with Omen of the Sea? I think it's good on the play too, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I haven't been insanely impressed. Yeah, in food, it does seem pretty good. Okay, opponent's going first. Let's keep this. One card I'm not sure about in this deck is Valky. It just could be a heinous card. I'm really not sure. But we're trying it. All right. I think Valky into Cobra Omen seems like a good sequence for this one. Yeah, yeah, we were just talking about it on the podcast today that, you know, nobody knew that it created the emblem. Ex exactly. That's the biggest thing of that card. That The keyword of emblem there um, is what makes that card so good. Okay. Velky. The front side definitely doesn't synergize with Yorian or anything, so it's nothing crazy there. But I do get to take the removal spell here. Fan me down. Oh, and I can turn this into a murderous rider too. Seems pretty good against him. Sure. Oh, I'm going to beat this squad. So now it's interesting. I might just want to play this Clearwater Pathway and say go. And then if they go to attack, just turn this into a Murderous Rider. I actually think that's better. Shuts down their attacks. No one beats the squad. Nobody. All right. Doesn't seem like a net positive exchange. Oops.
The stack is such gas, y'all. All right, so five. If I find an untapped land, I can cast Tibble. Yeah, showdown I think is is best in a ramp shell. Shocker, I know, but all right, whatever. I'll take that. Yeah, we'll just uh Um I guess I do need to deal with this or Grey Merchant. I mean I'm gonna just Kai it. So I can go to eleven, I think that's completely reasonable. Could just play this other goose too. Yeah, whatever. We'll take it. Okay, so can I Cobra? Cobra, get two mana. I can, but I lose the food. Is that worth it? Get another Cobra in play in place of one food? I think so. <laughs> Yorian blinking what? Are you talking about Tybalt? Because that isn't good. That's not how that works. All right, white. What? Exile this. Well, thanks for hanging everyone from Voxy and uh, Yellow Hat Stream. Appreciate y'all being here. It's a lot of people watching me do complete nonsense with Yorian. Oh. Oh, I can't cast it, but still, pretty sweet. Yeah, we actually don't have a very good turn now. Four, eight, nine, ten, and we could take ten next turn. I could attack. All right, we're gonna get in there. Um, yeah, Nico Harris, I thought was gonna be pretty good, and I think it's absolutely heinous. Um, I could take their Gary. That's true. Oh, wait a minute! Holy shit, y'all! Look at this synergy. I just saw this play. Nico Harris is the big one for me, though. Check this out. This returns to my hand. So I take Gary. Isn't it a legend? Oh, it replaces it. Oh. Ah, okay, okay. I was like, I thought that legend ruled and I was going to get the other one back. Um, <clears throat> Quite a while ago. All right, give it a shot. Need some payoffs, payoffs, but that's that's one. Kasuma. I think that card was insanely overrated, and I think it's pretty bad. I think it's okay with some Genesis Ultimatum decks, just as like a two of or something. But overall, I think that card is pretty pretty bad. I guess this is my only blue source, and red I barely need, so I better go like this. Pathways, you can't you can't put pathways in in the top countdown. Like, of course they're good, but you know, I think that's silly to put those there. Okay. See, Ross, I think it's kind of the other way around. Like, I don't know, three three is just not that good. Um, I don't know. I'm not a big believer. All right, let's go with Cobra. Cobra's been way better than I thought in this deck. <clears throat> Rude. Cobra sucks.
<laughs> what do y'all think of this? I thought of a new uh, reward for channel points since I have absolutely nothing. It's just gonna be mute Ross Merriam for three minutes or whatever, like 10,000 points. I gotta do something and I figured that was a good one. That was indeed a good draw though, that's for damn sure. Binding of the Ross Merriams. And then for double that, you can unmute them. So we'll really see, you know, where this lies. I guess they do have the, the good Doug, but. You have that with Murph Dog? Oh shit. Winona Ryder, God, okay, we're dead. Suppose this has to be a Winota deck. Okay. All right, we'll try to live. Try to w live and hope that we can do something silly with this time walk. Yeah, the Ross penalty box. I like that. Okay. This should be fine. Two triggers. This is already probably lethal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is lethal. All right. That didn't go well. Okay, Heartless Act has got to be pretty good. Wicked Wolf is definitely good against aggro. On the play, I'm going to try and search for greatness, or in search of greatness. They don't have a lot of interaction, I would imagine. Chariot's probably not good. Vorinclex is probably not good. <clears throat> I guess I did have Wicked Wolf in this deck when I also had Trail. Now that I don't have trail, this card's actually just not that good. It's probably a problem I should address. I mean, it's still fine. But not great. Yeah, that's probably something I should cut. All right, we'll try this. All right. <coughs> not bad, not bad. I am loving this pathway mana, but it is so annoying to have so many different ones. Like, okay, which color of mana don't I need? Go with get rid of red for now. All right, we're gonna play Tangled of Florhedrion. That was a nice draw. Don't stomp me. Don't stomp me. Don't tread on me. Rude. Rude. Yeah, so a nice thing with Cobra here. Yeah, I have Showdown of the Scalds. Um, nice thing with Cobra here. Wow, that was a great draw. Um, Binding of the Old Gods, it puts a land into play during your main phase. So you get you actually kind of get it untapped, you know? A little cute interaction. It's nothing more than cute, but. Valky, eh? I think Valky is probably worth it here just for Tybalt's side. Oh yeah, boom. we need to ban, we need all this ban talk that's being directed towards Yorian to be directed towards Bone Crusher. That card is oppressive, okay? 
<laughs> Shoot. I wanted to just kill this with Binding of the Old Gods, but having two creatures that trigger Winota, I don't think so. I think with having two creatures that trigger Winota, we play Wicked Wolf, fight Selfless Savior, because then if they play Winota and want to attack, then they have to lose both creatures to do so. And that seems bad for them, so. The Wolf, that's pretty wicked. <laughs> Definitely a better play. Wow, just jamming. Okay. Probably a punt not putting it there. Ooh. Don't think I want to just give up Kaya if I don't have to. So yeah, we'll start with this. Unless they have another Winota SBS and then they're baiting us into it, which easily could be, you know. God, that was still just great. Don't do it again. That's pretty bad for me. Um, all right, no blocks. We'll just exile it. So I need red mana. It has some hidden text, doesn't it? Of course it does. Sweet. The old hidden protection from multicolors. Damn it. It was really good. It's Jonas. That deck I have 100% faith in. I think that deck is awesome. This deck's been sweet too. Just a little bit more nonsense. God, I can't kill it with uh, Tybalt either. I bet, yeah, I bet since Wicked Wolf is not that good since I don't have Trail, I probably just want to have Extinction Event in that slot. That seems pretty good. Wow, attacking me. No respect. Okay. Um... All right, let's start with this. Yeah. Just because the backside's not going to be that good. Oh, baby. That was good. Okay. What do I have to deal with more? Giant Killer's not actually going to hit anything. Uh, and Kenrith could be game over. So I think we got to hit King Ken. Then... I haven't cast Tibalt yet, no. No, but I want to. All right, let's go like this. No. Okay, this is going to be good. That's got to be a good top deck. Ugh. Guess they only get to cast one. That's not that bad. Hmm. 
Interesting. All right, how about this? God, that's rough. Giving them back Kenrith is so bad. But getting back Wicked Wolf is good. Wow, this is really bad. Um, what if I just go like this? Is this... Yeah, I think I go like this. This is sad, but... I don't have a board wipe. But I do have this. So if I go like this, I, c I was like, okay, I can exile Lieutenant with this, but yeah, I can't do that. Um, okay, so we'll start with this. Yeah, Scald is just insane with Lieutenant, wow. Definitely a spot where ECD would be better. That's a fact. Hmm. Let's try that. Best we got. It's a tough game. That scald was just unbelievable. We can Yorian next turn, which will be really good if we can manage enough resources. Okay. No land? Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right, what about this? Okay, that's probably the best, huh? So they're gonna kill Wicked Wolf. They're gonna get two, one, one. Yeah, I think this is the best block I got. They kill the Visionary? Damn. That was a good, that was a good call. I guess I can turn this into a Kenrith, huh? Then I can start putting creatures into play. That'd be pretty good. All right. Three, four, five. But I have to block this many creatures and sack the food to live, so I can't do that. So I have to go like this. Yeah, game five life would have been insane. So maybe I shouldn't have blocked with that. This was a really tough match. Is that a human? Ooh, that's a spicer. 
It's a nice one to uh, Winota into. This deck is kind of sweet. So I have to gain the life, no doubt. Let's see where this puts us. So, I mean, I just have to block, block, block. Hand is forced. Okay. All right. That wasn't great. All right, that's the first match we lost with this deck, though. We'll calm down here.